Morning guys. Feeling over a bit of a difference this morning. Um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a car parts video or a uh, mini adventures video. But uh, it's Saturday morning. We had a, an amazing thunder and light, lightning show last night. It kept me up for quite a bit. Um, anyway, bank holiday, end of May, Saturday morning, and we are going camping. Um, I've got my fishing gear packed, so I don't know if this is going to be a carp bites video or a mini adventures video, but uh, I'll film it anyway and see how we get on. But yeah, so it's not a fishing weekend as such. Um, we're going in a trailer, and uh, I've got some carp gear in the car. So we're off to Burton Springs in Somerset, um, initially just for a camping holiday and then I realised what sort of fish they had in the lake and the other half said yep, bring your rods and uh, as long as it ain't fishing all the time. So I spent a couple of hours here and there fishing um, and they've got some big cats in there and some nice carp. So uh, yeah, I'm going to load the car, rest of the gear in. Um, like I say, I've not got a lot of fishing gear, but then I don't need a lot because uh, I don't need my bivvy, don't need my bed chair, don't even need an anarchy mat because the fishery supplies that. So it's very little fishing gear, literally a rucksack and a rod bag in there and my bait. Uh, and everything else that's in the car is purely food and uh, stuff for, for us camping. So let me get on and I'll speak to you soon. Okay guys, uh, right we're at Burton Springs Fishery, uh, originally it was just going to be a uh, camping or pop-up caravan weekend, uh, but then I realised there's some decent fish here and, uh, and I pulled some rods with me, so I've just set the rods up, it's getting on now, it's half past seven, uh, that fish is coming into shot. It's half past seven. We've just uh, we got down here about eleven o'clock this morning and set the uh, camper up. Uh, but then we've been down to Western Supermare to see my uh, son. Uh, we met us there. So we've had some fish and chips on the beach, and now we're just having a cider in the sun. Just got the rods out, and uh, we'll see what happens. It's primarily a, car a catfishing lake. It's not too big. Uh, about five foot deep or so where I'm fishing um, and yeah um, they go quite big in there, up to 80 pounds apparently um, although the big ones haven't been out for a while um, I think they're having the, the, the trout and that are in here but um, anyway I've got normal carp rigs on um, barbie silks only, no uh, lead core leaders um, two rod limit um, but yeah so I've got the rods out, normal carp tactics, however on one I've got um, half a pop-up and uh, a big 22mm pallet, halibut pallet, and on the other it's just a pop-up boilie on uh, the Ronnie rig. Uh, one, the Ronnie rig's right in the margin, uh, right against the rushes, and um, not far, just under arm flick, and uh, the halibut pallet is straight out in front uh, towards the centre of the uh, 
this half of the lake basically. Um, we got quite a bit of water from the swim we were set up in. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm not going to fish all night, I'll bring the rods in when I go to bed. Like I say, this is primarily a camping, uh, caravaning weekend. Um, and Tina's just enjoying the sun on the chair with uh, a nice glass of cider. So I'm going to go and sit and join her while right. we'll wait and see if the buzzers kick off or not. Anyway, I'll let you know if anything happens. See you later. <laughs> version of carping really and uh, quite a bit quite like it it's got heating in there and everything so almost toast but, um, and super comfy bed as well but anyway back to the fishing um, I was sitting in the camper last night and at 11 o'clock the open water rod started to go not an absolute belting run but it was, it was taking line uh, I hit it and uh, yeah, I was connected to a fish. Started cutting over to the right hand bank, and then all of a sudden the hook pulled. So I had it on for 10 15 seconds or so, I actually felt it, then the hook just came off. Um, so yeah, a little bit catted about that. That's on the big 22mm pallet and uh, top of half a pop up. Um, so it's a shame. Didn't land it, whatever it was. Um, but it gives you the confidence that you're doing something right. Let's see what today brings. Not sure how much fishing we get done today, but um, we may go off for a long dog walk, either in the countryside or down the beach somewhere. Uh, and then, if it happens, then I'll set up again later this evening. If anything happens on the fishing front in the meantime, I'll let you know. First, I'm talking very quietly because Tina's still asleep. She's only on the side of the canvas. Catch you later. What's going on in the up one then? Uh, mushrooms. Okay. That's homemade baked beans. Okay guys, it's uh, 20 past 3, uh, ran in earlier after breakfast, so we've been for a dog walk down the local beach with this fella, and uh, got back, cast the rods out, I'm using three rods now, um, particularly because there's no one else on the lake now, I've been told, uh, I can use the third rod, plus I've had to pay for two people anyway, so, um, so yeah, three rods, I've got the right hand or well, left hand rod is just in the margin down here in the rushes. Um, middle rod is going to the rushes in the distance, and right hand rod is just rod length off the rushes and a couple of rod length straight out, so it's sort of mid water over water. Really. Oh. And um, yeah, we have seen some fish boiling with the towels sticking out of the water. So that's why I put that one there. <laughs> There's Tina. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we'll just see what happens. Not long after casting out, in the middle I did have a bit of a take on. Uh, I hit it and I felt some resistance, but I actually think it was a strong liner. Um, it could have been a take, but I've got a feeling it's a liner. So uh, yeah, so that's gone back out. Um, yeah, it's just a case now of wait and see if anything actually happens. And I'll let you know if it does. Okay, guys, no idea what time is it. Any idea what time is it? 20.58. Okay, it's 9 o'clock. Or well, 20.58, as Tina said. Um, and I recast the uh, left and right rod earlier. 
Uh, I've just recast the middle rod. The middle rod was right against the rushes on the far side. Um, but I've pulled it back into the same sort of areas I had to take last night um, with a couple of double 22mm pallets on the hair rig. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll just wait and see what happens. Been having some action on the uh, middle rod up against the rushes uh, that I'd take earlier, which um, went to the top really quickly and then slowly dropped back down. So I hit it thinking, and it dropped all the way back down. So I thought it must have been something on there. And uh, hit it, and there was no resistance whatsoever. Um, and the leather come off. So it looks to me like um, a fish had taken the bait and shook the lead off and uh, somehow got rid of the hook. Um, but yeah, I can't have any other explanation that the lead would have come off otherwise of the lead clip. But, so, a couple of occurrences on that rod. Um, I was hoping it would go before nightfall, but like I say, it's nine o'clock now, and uh, I've just recast the same spots last night. Um, and targeting the cats, I guess, and uh, we'll see what happens. Guys, so eventually got one. 17 pound, four ounces. That's a beaut. I think you'll agree. Yeah. Look at that. For a nice fish. I want scrap as well. Taking out my other rod, my right hand rod. So uh, looks like I've got a bit of work to do now. Let's get this one back. And. Uh, Happy days. Hey. Good morning guys. Hopefully the uh, lens isn't too steamy. Uh, Wisted it up. But, um, yeah, it's been a good night. Um, we eventually caught one of the catfish. 17 pound 10. And that was on the middle rod. Three o'clock in the night, and uh, yeah, off it went. And uh, gave a good scrap. Then she got it in, filmed it, put it back. It caught the right end rod on the way in, so I've had to recast the middle rod and the right end rod. Um, but yeah, the action sort of started about midnight. Um, had a sharp lift on the middle rod, uh, ran out, uh, no movement but the line was tight so I hit it, nothing there, so it recast out obviously, and, um, about one o'clock, indicated on the middle rod again, up and back down, I come running out, uh, no it's not happening so I left it, same again about two o'clock, at like 3 o'clock it kept going which was uh, nice to see. Um, it's been a bit quiet since then so I've tried to have a bit of a kip. It's been raining mm. on and off, some nice showers but not the thunderstorms at the forecast and uh, it's quite a nice morning. It's grey, overcast but it's still very humid. I'm so warm last night I was just sleeping on top of the, uh, the duvet. Um, Happy days, call one of the cats. So, all good. So, all in all, we've had a very successful bank holiday camping stroke fishing trip. Um, like I say, it was essentially a camping trip, but we found this place, it's going to set up next to the lake, and uh, pass the rods out when we're around cooking and doing breakfast and stuff, so it's been good. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed myself, Tim's enjoyed herself, I didn't 
people up too much in the night with the buzzers going on and off and running out the door. But, uh, yeah. It's been a good trip. Uh, we've got a few hours yet. Probably call this the end of the vlog unless something happens. In which case, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you again soon. Take care.